Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel, The Coach Studio. So, today's package of the day is Shrink Side Menu. Well, this package or this widget will help you to create beautiful side menus with a variety of animations and transitions and this package is also compatible with Liquid UI. We'll discuss what Liquid UI is. So, we'll see how to add dependencies, how to import the packages and how to wrap this widget in your Android application. So, the syntax of the side menu is like this. First, we have to define the side menu key to maintain the current state of the side menu. So, the side menu is having four main parameters. First, its key to maintain its current state. Second, menu, which will be containing a list of items or you can say a list of menu items. Third is the type. Type defines what type of animation or transition you want in your side menu type. And fourth, the child. So, the child will be containing your app bar wrapped up in your scaffold and other action buttons that you want on your app bar. Now, let's see how it will look like. So, as earlier I have stated that this slide share menu will have more than 4 to 6 type of different transition or animations like slide and rotate it is one of the type slide and rotate inverse which will work same as slide and rotate but it will show you the transition in the opposite direction here are some more variations for swing side menu Now let us get started and see how to implement this thing in your Flutter project. So in the earlier tutorial we have already created one project and in which we have created a screen folder where which we will be keeping all our screens throughout this tutorial. So as you can see I have already created a shrinkside menu.dart file. I am having a main.dart file and a pubs.yaml. So, to get started with this tutorial, first we have to import these two packages for creating this string side menu. It is a liquid UI. Liquid UI is a package which will help you as a UI toolkit to add more features in string side menu. And second package is string side menu itself. After Importing these packages in your project, now we'll go and create a file named string site menu. I've already imported these packages in this dart file. Now, now we'll create a class named my homepage, which is extending a stateful widget because this widget is going to change its state in future. Now, let's get started with are my homepage state. Here I have built a widget which is returning a side menu. As we have discussed that side menu is having four main parameters. First is a key. Here I have defined a global key for the side menu state named side menu key and I have passed it over here. I have given a background of green color to the side menu. Menu is having a build menu widget which will be showcasing a list of menu items. Type I have given the transition of shrink in slide and it is having a child scaffold app bar. Now in this app bar we are having an icon named icons.menu on whose on press function will check the current state of the side menu whether it is open or not. And here we have given a title. Now we'll go to the widget build menu which will be showcasing you the list of the menu items. Here I am returning a single child scroll view which is having a column and in this column I am having one circle of chart where you can put any background image you want to but recently I have given it a color dot white and below this we are having L text. As I have said that we have used liquid UI package so liquid UI package is having its own syntax. You just simply have to put L before all the widget name. And the rest remains the same. Now here you can see 
I have having list items uh, not less than six or seven, but you can see all the widget name are prefixed by a L letter, which indicates that this widget or this component is from Liquid UI, and every widget is having the same function as they are having in the Flutter basic components like background color, on tap, leading, title, etc. and etc. So as you can see, here we are done with our menu item. So now we'll import this file in our main.dart file where I have again imported liquid.ui and this string side menu screen screen path. Now as we have used liquid UI, so liquid UI is having its own material app which is named as liquid app in which it, it is having a child named material app where we are going to put our material app component and the rest remains the same like title, theme and in the home where we have imported our string side menu dot dart file will import our home page class as you can see I have provided one title liquid UI string side menus which will be appear in our app bar so our code is ready to run so after running this project we'll have a view like this as you can see on my screen I am having a beautiful string side menu screen which is having one app bar having a title liquid UI string side menus and on its left hand side I am having an icon of menu on which on click will give me a beautiful transition of shrink and slide. Now if you want to change this transition from shrink and slide to let's say we'll give it shrink and rotate. So now just hot restart your project and see. Now we'll again click on the menu button. Now see this time the transition is different. This time it is having shrink and rotate transition. So that's all for today. And if you find this tutorial informative and helpful then please do like and subscribe our channel. You can follow us on Instagram, LinkedIn and Twitter. Thanks for watching and stay tuned and keep fluttering.